Mostly in Utah, but was also filmed in Arizona and Nevada. a year and a half to make the film uh, and one of the reasons it took so long was that at least 50% of the film was done with green screen in my garage uh, we didn't have the resources that open road did like when making the feature film we couldn't you know build these massive caves you know we had so we had to get around that <laughs> Another thing we used the green screen for was the elevator shaft. Now in the movie, Melanie jumps out of a 10 story building, but when we were filming, we didn't know they were going to do it that way. So we did it the same way that Stephanie wrote it in the book, where she jumps down an elevator shaft. The elevator shaft is actually a scale model that my sister Kaylee and I made out of cardboard and spray paint. <laughs> Another reason it took so long to make the film was the eyes. There were absolutely no contacts used in the making of this film. It was all done in post uh, with computers. Uh, what we had to do, I pretty much had to invent a new effect in Adobe After Effects that I just applied and scaled to get it to fit the eyes and then use motion tracking. The problem with eyes is that they tend to move very fast and there's blinking. So a lot of the time I would have to go in and adjust the effect frame by frame. So in the end it took anywhere between 30 to 120 minutes per shot adding the effect depending on amount of eye movement and blinking. Wait, how do I make like the like host eyes? How do I do that? Like smiley faced host eyes? It's not really working. The entire casting crew did just an amazing job. They were all so wonderful. It was so great working with them all. It was such an awesome experience. And I hope that you guys have just as much fun watching the film as we did making it. Uh, yeah, glare, Tara. You don't what like sort her? Of glare. Uh, what? What sort of glare? Very, like, intensely about to kill you glare? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>